What's going on everybody? Welcome to Blind Power. Today I want to talk about Google Lens. Just released in Google I.O., which was Google's developer conference yesterday. Google Lens is game changing for those of us who are blind, visually impaired, because Google Lens can identify everything from text, so OCR, landmark recognition, so it, it can basically identify an art piece, a famous building, or even a, a general building, it can tell you like how many window panes there are. It can also detect uh, specific things like a specific breed of dog. Or if you point it at food, it can give you specific details on where to get the certain food or uh, how many calories. And you know, it can even turn it into text with OCR so that way you can read the menu using your screen reader. So let's get started with. Google Lens, and let's explore what it can do. I've been playing with it yesterday once I got my uh, beta update on my Pixel 2 Excel. So let's go explore and see what this thing can do. I'm quite excited. I think this is game changing. It's definitely, definitely replacing Sendero and Tap Tap C, which I can't believe it. We found something that is actually better than Tap Tap C, better than what's, what has humans working it in the background, which is kind of insane. So let's get started. So to get started with the Google Lens, I, I, what I'm first going to do is I'm going to enable TalkBack. TalkBack on. Pixel Toggle flash button. Google Assistant. Okay, so now I am in it. Activate Google Lens. So there you go, Google Double. Lens. Now when I find Activate a picture... Google Lens. Bless. Double. God. Bless. This. Is it nameplate? Activate Google... Activate Google Lens. Voice search button back to cam. Thumbs down, thumbs up, share. Is it named this? Bless. God. Bless. This. Is it nameplate? So it didn't read home, but it's still in beta. Bless. This. So double tap to activate. Basically, kind of did a little overlay that says most of it. Now, if I try back it again, button. let's try this again and let's get closer to it. Activate Google Lens. And it should work. Act home. Bless. God. Activate. God. Bless. Home. D activate Google Lens. God. Bless. Home. Double so tap now to activate. It missed this because it got blurred out. But it's pretty good. Um, it, it's uh, Granted, it's going to be coming out in August, uh, the, the official stable release. But this is good for a beta. Um, it's very, very useful. So this is the first interaction with OCR. I'm gonna walk around and find and find some more stuff that we can actually um, take a picture of and uh, determine what Google Assistant's uh, Google Lens thinks about it. So, you know, neural network works like a human brain. So let's see what else it can analyze. Let's make it work a noggin. Okay, take two. Let's try this again. I'm gonna find the focus. There we go. Excellence. Delivering County Miami Dade. Activate Google County Miami Dade. County delivering excellence. Wow, that's Double really tap good. To activate. Uh, uh, excellence every day. Every day. Wow, Double that's tap awesome. To activate. It actually worked. So I guess if you're in a well lit situation, it'll really, really well. Let's continue and seeing what else this thing can detect besides text. Two text examples. Now let's try landmark recognition. Okay, so we have a swing set right here. I'm gonna try to, to see what Google Lens thinks about it. Activate Google Lens. Even if it's not fully in frame, it should give us some kind of data. Let's see what it thinks. Enlist three items. Back to camera button. Sorry, something went wrong. Back button. So I didn't know what it was, okay. Okay, interesting. So, I guess let's try to get it one more time in, in frame. See if it'll work. Activate Google. Maybe like that. Activate Google Lens. It might be one of these. Double pine siskin. Brown creeper. Wood duck. Double tap to activate. I don't know what any of those are, but okay. Back button. So, 
I mean, it, it gave us some kind of feedback on this little swing set. But granted, it doesn't look that much like a swing set, so I see what the confusion can be. So that's interesting. Okay, so right there, there is the horse. Device unlocked. Tab what I'm gonna do in. Google Assistant. is I'm gonna focus the camera on the activate horses. Google Lens. So double tap to activate. Right there. See what it thinks. It might be one of these. Mustang. Shavalsky. Sorrel. Didn't identify it. Okay, so I'm inside again because it wasn't working too well with low light. So what I'm going to do is, now you can see me filming, I'm actually going to put the phone close to itself, see if it'll say Pixel. See if it can find the phone brand on Amazon or something. Activate share in list three. Share. Thumbs up. Is it finger out of list? Double so, tap to activate, double tap and hold to long press. It found my fingers, which is interesting. Let's try Back it again. Button. Let's try it even closer. Activate Google Lens. Activate Google Lens. Act is it mobile phone. Okay. Double tap to activate, double tap and hold to long press. Not bad, so it did detect it was a phone. Okay, so I have here my editing computer that I use for blind power. What I'm going to do... Top. Activate Google Lens. Activate Google Lens. And I'm going to take a picture of the computer to see if it can detect it. I can schedule events, remember text, or save phone numbers. Excuse. Double tap to activate act the laptop. Double okay. tap to activate, double tap and back button. Very on point. Activate Let's try it from Google here. Lens. Activate Google. Sorry, I'm not sure how to help. Back. Okay, let's try different things here because we have a lot. So I have here a big camera lens. Let's see, will it detect that? Activate Google. I can help you work by saving images and setting reminders. Okay. Double tap back button. Back button. So, so far it's not very smart. It learns from what you want. So maybe take a picture from headphones? Activate Google Lens. Um, electronic device. Double okay. tap to activate, double tap and hold to long so press. So, it knew it, but see, it got blurry a little bit. So, Back. I mean, maybe if this is available on the Galaxy S8, I mean S9 and S9 Plus with the... Dual aperture, maybe able to take some good low light OCR pictures. So let's let's keep digging around. Actually, let's take a picture of that Activate pink Google chair. Lens. Um, chair. Okay. Back. So it's identifying mundane stuff. So I'm gonna keep walking around the office here and seeing what else. All right, I have your Activate boxes. Electronic boxes. Let's see which one I can detect. I can help you work by activate Google Lens. Yeah, it's not detecting anything. Okay. So it's very picky. Let's keep walking around and seeing what else. Because I want to try to get this video today with my opinion on uh, Google Lens. Because so far it's pretty neat. Okay, so here's some very hard to read text from far away. When you get close to it, it's easy to, it's easy to read. So it's, it's got this weird effect. Like from far away, it looks like cursive. But then when you get closer, it's normal text. Let's see what Google, Google Lens. Lens thinks about it now. Let's take a picture of it. Activate Google Lens. Activate Google Lens. Act give. We. Fun. Have. We. Big. Three, we, sorry, time, say, we, capital U, give, don't, we, house, hour, right, double just, tap to activate. Start from the beginning. Activate Google Lens, we, say, I'm, sorry, we, dream, big, we, have, fun, we, give, hugs, we, are, grateful, we, take, risks, we, are, family, back to camera button. That's kind of interesting. I read the whole thing. I tried this yesterday and it didn't work out 
that well. But cool, it, it read it perfectly. So the OCR text, I mean, and this is a kind of low light situation. The light is out there and like I'm right next to it. So, and then that curtain is closed. So I'm getting this weird half shadow exposure and it actually read it pretty well. So lighting conditions is not as picky. I mean, as long as you have some kind of light, you should be fine. Okay, so here's a box. The idea is that it could bring me to a link on, on Amazon or some shopping site. Uh, or maybe OCR, because it seems to favor OCR over everything, so let's figure activate it out. Activate Google Lens. Double tap to activate. Okay, so when you hear the beep, that means it found it. Ultra. Activate Google X470. ADRUS. Er. Ultra. Gaming. Gaming. Motherboard. SATA. Here's what I found. So it read most of it. But it didn't take me to a link. EVGA Corporation enlist four items. Oh, it did, it did find it, that it's... It, it found the box that is my power supply, that's EVGA. But that's all it found. So, it, it, it seems to uh, know what something is. Share. EV, here's what I... EVGA Corporation huh, enlist so four items. It identified the Double power supply that is here that says EVGA. But it didn't identify the main box that I was focusing at, so kind of an interesting perspective. It has selective focus, yet it also gave me OCR, so maybe you can get whatever the product is, all the links on the bottom, and then OCR. I haven't seen that two-in-one situation yet, but pretty interesting. So apparently the, uh, the, the Google Lens thing can identify like pictures, so art pieces and stuff. So let's try to do that here. See if we can identify the artist of this. Activate Google Lens. You put it in frame. Here's what I found. Here's Sacred Heart of Jesus. Enlist four items. Okay. Double tap I think activate. that is correct. I've heard my family say that that's what that is. Here's Sacred Heart of Jesus. Enlist four items. Double tap. If I tap on that, what would it give me? Activate the devo Sacred Heart. Yeah, look, Double it's tap to activate. Act the devotion to the Sacred Heart is one of the most widely practiced and well-known Roman Catholic devotions. Take all right, all right. So basically, that's pretty cool. It actually correctly identified that art piece. So let's see if we can find more art pieces for it to speak uh, what it thinks it is, because that's that was very accurate indeed. Okay, so we're in a low light situation now. And these were bought from Amazon, so maybe it'll give us an Amazon link or some kind of link. So I'm gonna try just taking a general picture like this. Activate Google Lens. Activate Google Lens. I think one of these breeds is a match. Double Great Dane. Oh, well, there Double it is. Tap to activate. These are actually, uh. So now it's gonna give us breeds. Because it sees that there's an animal there, and actually, I don't know what animal that is, but okay. So now it's gonna give us breeds. Great Dane, Whippet, French Bulldog, Share, Enlist, Whippet, Out of List, Whippet, Great Dane, Double Tap to Activate. These are actually horses, as far as I know, I don't, yeah, these are like the front of a horse, so it's wrong, but at least it knows that it's an animal, which is kind of interesting. Back button. There's another art piece behind us. Let's see if we can do that now. That's a horse, full Activate blown. Activate Google Lens. See if it, if it knows what that is. Mustang. Okapi. Wildebeest. Donkey. Cebu. Foal. Gary Crandall. It, share. Thumbs up. Cebu. Donkey. Wildebeest. Okapi. Mustang. It might be one of these. So double tap to activate. Double tap and hold to long press. It, it doesn't know that that's a quarter horse, but it did kind of say. Let's Back try button. it again. So let's try it from a closer distance and see if it identify it. Activate Google Lens. Mustang, Shetland pony. Double tap hey, to activate. Hey, I found a horse. Donkey, D Shetland pony. So double tap to activate. The closest one that I found was a pony, but it's actually a horse. That's How kinda... has iOS 11.4 beta 4 been for you and which device are you? 
Okay, I just got a notification. So that's pretty interesting. It was almost accurate. It did detect it was a horse on the second try, but it still has ways to go, but at least it's detecting stuff. For me, personally, I think this is worth it for OCR and some basic landmark recognition. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's there. It's cool. Hopefully by August, I will do a full review when it's actually fully released. I'll do a, a review of the iOS app and stuff and see how it works. So, all right. I like it though. So far, it's um, it's going to be useful in a blind and visually impaired world, especially if you're in a museum or you need OCR detection. I like it. Right now, it's on my Pixel 2, which is pretty decent at low light. All right. So so far, we tested it around uh, the house and seeing what we can uh, detect. And just from like a little quick video, you know, walking around, finding stuff, it's solid. I mean, I, right now it's still in like alpha beta stages, so it's not exactly fluent yet. They say in a couple of weeks they're going to start releasing it to the public. So it's great. Honestly, it's life changing. Uh, you'll be able to use it on iPhone, which is awesome. And it'll be hopefully accessible with voiceover. Now the nice thing about this is that, you know, no more having to figure out like, oh, you know, how do I, you know, figure out what this paper says and then tap, tap, see, we'll read it to you, but you can't take any data out of it versus uh, with Google Lens, you can actually copy the data that it reads to you through OCR. And then you can paste it in somewhere else or you can take a picture of a landmark and you can actually get information about that landmark. So. Really, really cool. I think, um, you know, when it comes to going around supermarkets and, you know, shopping, doing groceries, it makes things super easy because you just take a picture of it and it says, hey, this is what this is. And then, and then it gives you similar options on the bottom. So that, you know, if, if what you're looking for is, is cheaper, you know, online, it'll actually give you options to buy it online or it'll give you the option to read it through OCR and determine what it, what it is. Now, uh, you know, the landmark detection and the whole art piece detection thing, that's awesome because if you're in a museum, for example, and you don't want to like, you know, you can't touch the paintings because they don't have any tactile feel to them. So you take a picture of them and, um, you know, with the, with Google Lens, like Google Lens kind of gives you the history of of the painting, and you know, it gives you a lot more details about it than the museum would. So, you know, for the site, it's kind of nice as well if you just want to get more information about a specific painting. And usually, you know, museums have quick bits of you know uh, the art painting, but Google Assistant will be like, "Hey, here's more info." Here's a lot more info, and it, it'll even give you multiple, multiple different articles on on what this painting is, and the back end story, and the, the you know whatever. It, it basically does a full Google search on on whatever you take a picture of. Now, yesterday I did notice that on some pictures it would give me related stuff to buy online. Now, the Google Lens feature learns your habits and learns how you take pictures, so. If you're totally blind, for example, and your pictures are off-center, um, Google's lens, uh, I guess they, they call it the uh, ML kit, the machine learning kit, will say, oh, so it's out of frame, and it'll try to put it in frame as much as possible to get as much data out of that picture as possible. So granted, right now, um, TalkBack doesn't tell you what's in front of you. They won't say, like, oh, picture in focus, not in focus, because there's little dots that show up when it detects something, but it just says select, select what you want, but then the, the Google, you know, talkback just does these little beeps and it doesn't tell you anything. So it, you kind of have to play the guessing game by tapping and hoping it works. So hopefully the Google changes this in the you know, next betas. I'm definitely going to submit something about accessibility with Google Lens because there is some things that they can work on since it is still beta. But um, I think it's going to be the future and, you know, taking pictures and figuring out what's around you in a snap of a moment, that's awesome. You know, and, and it doesn't matter if you're an Android user or an iOS user, both platforms can get this, which is awesome. I'm glad that Google's making everything widely available because, you know, the, the majority of the blind and visually impaired community is 
on iPhone, so you can get the same feature on iPhone. I'm just testing it on Android because right now it's only available on Android. But uh, you will get this on the iPhone in the next upcoming weeks. Now, the only thing that I, that I will say, I found problems with low light. Like, uh, I took some pictures in low light and it, and it skips words sometimes. So you have to be careful because it will skip different words. So if a sentence sounds kind of funny, then probably because there is something funny about it. So, you know, um, if, if the first try you see that it's, something's weird, take the picture again and try it again until you get it right. Because uh, it'll learn and you can thumbs down the picture and say, hey, this isn't right. So always, you know, rate it, thumbs up or thumbs down, thumbs up if it's right, thumbs down if it's wrong, so that way the algorithm kind of determines, oh, this is not what, it, you know, the user wanted, and it kind of learns your habits on how you take pictures, and it'll basically collect data of how you take pictures, which is nothing bad. I mean, everything collects data nowadays anyway, so who cares, but uh, Google's doing a great job. This week we'll be doing a lot more Google coverage uh, th thanks to Google I.O., so we'll be talking about TalkBack and um, some more accessibility features in Android P. That'll be in an upcoming video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, go grab Google Lens in the next coming weeks. If you already have a Pixel or a Nexus, uh, no, Pixel devices right now only, I believe. Uh, you can get Android P right now uh, through the Google Android beta program. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, rate, subscribe. You know what to do. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Hit the subscribe button and remember to enable the notification bell to get all notifications of blind power uploads. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.